Shalom Israel. This is GMS Arkansas. This is Stop and Listen. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son. Call Halal Yahweh. Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai. Ba'a Shem Rekah. Kodash. Brekata. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there on the highways and byways, pushing in truth and sincerity. And strength to Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, just want to share, um, you know, um, uh, we gonna keep just trying to, you know, put this information out here, these scriptures, breaking it down the right way, you know, for the elect brothers who coming in, you know, and for the brothers who are already this diligently work, uh, doing this work, you know, the water for you brothers out there who, who putting these videos out constantly, man, cause, hey, it's, it's that time, brothers. And uh, me personally, man, since the apostle put the decree out to do three videos uh, a week, man, there's many videos I can't keep up, but I learned a lot. You know, because videos are going up, so my uh, my learning is, is increasing too, I see, through the spirit. So, brothers, y'all keep pumping the videos man um this is uh psalm one and one it says blesses he blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners sitteth in the seat of the scornful it says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. When you look at that word blessed, it goes into the Hebrew word uh, ashar, meaning happiness, blessedness, right? Um, being being happy and blessed and basically favored. Is the man that walketh, walketh is halak. The man that that departs, proceeds, go life, the manner of life, uh, to walk figuratively, to lead, to bring strong definition, to walk along a pace, behave continually, to be conversed. So it says, uh, not in the council, right? Look up council, advice, council, plans, uh, more purpose of the ungodly. Let's look up that up. Ungodly person is one who's hostile to the most high, wicked, guilty of sin, a criminal, right? Condemned, guilty, ungodly, wicked man that did wrong. Okay. So it says, uh, basically, blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Right. And the man that is not going to walk in that counsel, he will be probably the man of the elect. Because the ungodly, they're not going to do things right, as the definition said. They're going to. They're going to always uh, be doing uh, mischief. An ungodly man is always going to be as a, like a trouble seat, you know, thrown back and forth. Right? And and they, they're going to want you to walk that path that they're walking because spiritually they're basically jealous that you have it and they don't. Right? So... Favor be shown to you. Now, we know we live in this world. We have a lot of family members who are ungodly. Now, you might uh, you might speak to a, a sinner on, on, on at the street, or you might even hey, might even uh, might even have a dead battery in his car. And you might give him a boost. You know, you know, get him going. But to sit, to, but to sit with him. And sit down and listen that listen that uh, uh, advice they spearing out 
and then you being not able to discern whether it's uh, godly information, right, right information or ungodly information. You know, you just you just hear it and then you you take it, you you take it for that is what it is. Not being able to discern, and and that's where uh, like you have certain groups they call themselves Israelite groups. They are constantly uh, going off on scriptures and they're going against our what they've been taught, and then you have uh, they have followers, you know, you have. And the followers of these men, they're, the thing is, they're not able to discern the information that they're hearing that's being spewed out that's, that's wrong. So they're basically the counsel of the ungodly, man. They, their, their manner and path of life, their going direction is basically like a fool. They stand up, nor stand up in the way, right? Of, of sinners so don't stand around with them uh, don't stand around with them you know because when you go into uh, the way the way is uh, darach, darach way, a road, a distance, a journey a manner, a path a road, a journey a course of life of moral character so it says, nor standeth in the in the uh, same path as a sinner. Don't you uh, take the same course of life that they're taking? You know, because life is basically uh, uh, it's like a road. You know, you walk in a, 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 a an elect brother, a righteous man is going to walk that path that's hardly being walked because. He knows at the end of that path is going to be some some blessings, so to speak. And an unrighteous man is not going to walk the path. He's going to hinder. He's going to be in that path, trying to hinder you not to walk that that narrow path. He wants you to walk the way he's walking, because spiritually he knows that you 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 know, and the spirit is on you to discern things, and you're basically righteous, and he's not. And they wanna they wanna have your spot. You know, those are sinners, man. That's how Satan works, man. And those same people are in your path, man, trying to trying to knock you off that path. Because the path a righteous man is a righteous man is trying to go to the path that's gonna lead to this eternal kingdom, man. And you uh you uh sinners, the path that you're walking is gonna lead you to death, man. And you know you have these uh, these camps out here. They 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 love to um, they learn from GMS, but they want to uh, have their own doctrine and go down their own path and go against what they've been taught. And they have other men that's in these groups too. Now, hey, it could be some of those men that that could be righteous men that just not being able to discern right now. And the Lord might give them the spirit to be able to discern the bullshit that they're hearing and get out of there it's possible or it's possible he could just leave them in there you know it says nor standeth in the way of sinners so hey that path man is narrow you know <clears throat> matter of fact i get it right here matthew 17 14. Yeah, it says uh, Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide, wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in there at. It says 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth into the life and few there be that find it. It says narrow is the way. 
That's why I was just explaining through the spirit. A, a righteous man is going to take that path that's narrowly traveled, man. And this road is small, man. And it's not it's not big enough for uh, everybody. But yet them sinners going to want you to, to uh, they're going to want you to, to go that broad way. That spacious way. That way, that, 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 that broad way that everybody's in, that very spacious way that leads where, where sin is e easy, easy, easily to be, uh, uh, to mess with you, to come in, you know, and, and be right there with you. If the gate is narrow and straight, then it, it's going to be hard, you know, narrow to press, to press hard upon, to compress with, narrow, straighten. Contracted metaphorically to trouble or to flick distress. So that's the way that you basically want to go. The way that that's that's that that you're having, you know, troubles and afflictions. Because Lord said, "Blesses the man that's being that uh blesses the person who's being persecuted." In Matthew, I think the fifth chapter. So it says, "Go back." Psalms, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. And, and a righteous man is not going to sit around, around, right, with these scorners and, and listen at them mock, you know, men of the Lord. You know, you got a lot of groups. Like, yes, yeah, you cool. Yeah, you cool. Long as they talking about GMS, then you have uh, you got friends in some other camps. But a righteous man ain't gonna sit around. He's gonna be able to discern. You know, when he hear things, he's gonna be able to discern whether it's godly or ungodly, and he's not gonna sit around with it. If it's godly, he might he'll sit there, you know. But if it's not ungodly, if it's ungodly, he won't sit there. If it's godly, he will, he will sit there, you know. It says, sit it, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful man. It's to scorn, make miles at, to talk arrogantly, see? To mock, to derive. And that's what they do. They sit around. Then they try to mock, mock the apostles, right? And, but you got, like I said, you got other men in those groups. They don't, they don't know how to discern, so they just hearing this. They just hearing this man and they think it's 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 the right way to go. You know, basically. When you basically boil down to it, you know, Jake being their feelings and shit. So, uh I just wanted to share this scripture. Uh I'm gonna read it again, Psalms one and one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Is, that's in these groups. If they're if they're part of the elect, the Lord gonna let them discern and get out. If not, it's gonna be death to you, death to them. You know, thermonuclear destruction or race riots or famine or pestilence. You know, with this, I hope this was short. Lesson was edifying. All praise be to how about Shimmy Abishai. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, the GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. You brothers keep pushing out there. You know, we almost out of here, man. Shalom.